I've got Karen Carney here with me, Kaza, who's been smashing it on the screens and behind the commentary box. But here you are for an amazing initiative here that's specifically targeting girls. So I know the obvious would be, of course, you want to get involved. But why did you want to get involved with this specific program? I think um, I came through a similar scheme as the Wildcats, which is probably two schemes later on than this. So we, we looked at trying to get young girls at this level, you know, primary school level into football. And I think we have to go back a level and, and build their confidence first by giving them the fundamentals of, of moving, jumping, twisting, turning. So the Shooting Stars initiative is brilliant because it uses the Disney films that everyone loves, like The Incredibles, Aladdin, kind of tells a story and the story distracts the girls of, of how to do all the basic movements and fundamentals that we need them to get if they want to go and play football. and. It gives them the confidence at the earliest stage as opposed to just throwing them in at the deep end, giving them a ball and expecting them to be good if they haven't got the basic, you know, movement skills, which is really important. Now, I know everything's far from perfect, but of course, we've spoken to a number of people from the FA and they feel that we are in a, a very special and probably the best time for women's football, you know, thanks in part to your strides that you have made and the Lionesses as well this year after the World Cup. Do you see that, that we're in a, probably the best time there has been for women in sports and women in football? Yeah, there's definitely uh, been a massive shift. Um, like you said, I think for all for all sports with, with females involved in, which is which is fabulous. And I think now um, we just need to keep building and pushing and, and, and making sure that you know at the top end, say like on Saturday for such a, a massive game for England, that they do well and perform well and keep inspiring the next generation and and the nation as a whole, which is. It is, a, it is a special moment and a big moment that we need to capitalise on and, and I think credit to everybody that uh, I think they are. And then speaking of course of that game and then the match you know, against Germany and the fact that so much is being made that it's expected and fingers crossed a sold out crowd because that capacity would just be unparalleled in women's football and women's sports. So you know, how does just that make you feel and especially with the crowds that we've been seeing you know, with, with the women and the fact that they're you know, in the local leagues and playing at these big stadiums, iconic stadiums here in the UK. Yeah, I mean, the the opening weekend of the, the WSL, I think on the, the Saturday, I was at the Etihad Stadium. And then Sunday, I was at Stamford Bridge watching games there. And I think I'm at the Tottenham ground soon. So um, it is good, but I think it, they're, they're really good for those, those you know, one-off games throughout the season to get a big crowd. But I think the key is that we need to get people regularly down to their, their local WSL teams, you know. So I was at... Um, Kings Meadow where Chelsea play for the Chelsea Arsenal game recently and there was just under I think 4,000 people there and that's what we need we need the local their home grounds to sell out and then if we go to big stadiums for, for, for one-off games that we get the big crowds well, I think it's week in week out that we need to get bums on seats and you know the girls just need, keep to, need to keep playing well and producing a good product that people want to come back week in week out and watch and, and, f and fall in love with the girls for how they play and, and their personalities. And how would you describe the Lionesses now? Because I feel like especially after the World Cup and losing, as we say, only to the US and we know the powerhouse that the US is. Um, but how would you describe the, the period that the Lionesses are in now? Because I feel like everyone's excited um, about them and, and seeing what's next. It's, I'm excited now, you know, coming apart, coming away from them. I'm excited to see what the future holds for them, especially with, you know, the home, the home Euros and there's even the Olympics as well to look forward to. So there's two massive tournaments that can really catapult the game even further which is which is again exciting but um it is it's a really you, f you feel and sense that everyone really wants the team to do well and um that's really really nice because everything we've had for the last god knows how long where it's been restrictive and there's been barriers we've now turned a corner and everyone's like positive wanting them f to do well more op opinions of the team are, are getting put out there and so there's been a massive shift and that's credit to everyone for being open-minded breaking down barriers and pushing and supporting the team and long may it continue. All right, Louise, could you just tell me a little bit more about exactly what it is you're trying to achieve here and what the program is? Because it sounds like a pretty brilliant one. So I think it's uh, best to start with if every parent wants their daughter to grow up confident, um, resilient um, and full of independence. And we, we in football believe, we at the FA, sorry, we believe that football has um, a unique power to unlock those really important life skills in girls, but only if it's delivered to them 
in in the right way. So what you see behind me is the FA Shooting Stars, which consists of two modern, innovative, vibrant um, football programmes. Um, one delivered at lunchtime, um, the second uh, delivered after school, and both inspired by the magic of, of Disney and uh, different movies and movie characters from Disney. And what's the reception been like so far? Because, I mean, just looking at the girls, they already look like they're having an absolute blast. I almost wanted to get involved. <laughs> it, it, we know that some girls are hugely competitive and they're already engaged in football. They play in regular teams and leagues. But we also know that there's an enormous amount of girls that want to play football for fun. Um, and they, what you see behind me is a really new and different way of introducing girls to the sport for the first time. Um, they want to be engaged. Girls this young age are creative. They're very imaginative. Um, they like imagination, imaginative play. Play. So that's what the Shooting Stars programmes are about, is encouraging girls to get active through the medium of storytelling and imaginative play. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.